of the Mariloma High School Science Bowl team just made history this week at the 2015 Department of Energy National Science Bowl competition held in Washington, D.C., and they're joining us in studio this morning with more on their big win. First of all, congratulations, because not only did you win it, you made history because you've won it so many times consecutively, right? James Hill, you're the teacher and the coach, right? Correct. This is the uh, fifth win national win for the Mariloma Science Bowl team. What's the secret to your, your success? I mean, you've got to be an amazing <laughs> teacher and coach. Is he, you guys? Is that? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> Thank you, but they're, it's, it's hard work. They spend countless hours studying, practicing, so uh, the key is hard work. Dedication. And do you have any other teaching or coaching tricks that maybe you can share with other teachers uh, in the area? I couldn't divulge that. So. Well, <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's sometimes hard to get kids excited about science. Well, they have a natural desire to learn, and so they're uh, they're, they're very devoted. They uh, they have certain regions of in, certain areas of interest that they uh, are that they concentrate in, and so they really delve deep into the subject, and they really represent uh, the sciences and Miraloma very well. That's pretty cool. So, meteorologist Dirk Verdorn is our science teacher and coach here at KCRA three and my 58 as well. So, Claire, let me begin with you. For you, what was would you say was the hardest part of being in this competition and being asked all of these questions? Oh, um, I mean, that's a hard question in itself. <laughs> um, I think one of the hardest things for us is just um, playing so long and pl having to play consistently all day long. Like, you mm. really can't ever let up to just keep going and uh, play undefeated as we did. How long does it last? Um, it well, first of all, there's a round robin competition that uh -huh. uh, lasts several hours. They, there's nine teams in different division in our division, and there are uh, 69 teams total. Uh -huh. And then uh, there's double elimination after that. And so they managed to be undefeated in round robin and through the entire competition wow. through double elimination. Wow! Okay. I want to know what their specialties are. What's your what's your what's your specialty? Earth and space science. Earth and space. Uh -huh. I do chemistry. Chemistry. Uh, biology. Biology. Math. Math. Um, a little of everything, but little biology and earth and space. Now, are those your favorite subjects, or are those the ones yeah. you're just assigned to, to do? So you actually have a knack already for that that specialty or that field. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. Who's a, who's a, who's, a, who's, a, who's an overall science nerd? So you're the one that just loves all science. Um, well, all of us. <laughs> all, all of us like all of them, but um, I'd say Daniel is also a pretty generalist science scholar. Uh, he huh. gets a lot of questions in like a wide variety of subjects. What okay. advice would you guys give to other students on being successful? Um, so um, we've actually a team actually asked us this at nationals, uh -huh. and uh, the response we wanted to give them was, you know, there there everyone wants to find the easy way to you know do well at science bowl and win, but really there's just one hard way. You know, you got to study, you got to work, and really we don't really have. It's not really a secret, right? It's just we want to put in the effort in, and we do. Do you study in, in 20 to 30 minute sessions, take a break, and then study for 20 to 30 minutes more? Because I just read um, that the other day about that's the best way to retain the information, or do you guys just lock yourselves in a room? And so, uh, <laughs> uh, so for me, uh, I study chemistry, and mm -hmm. I guess, um, so at least, so I was recently reading organic chemistry, uh -huh. and uh, that's not really something you can just sit down and memorize. Like, I don't think that's a very good approach to studying that. Oh. Um, so for me, it's really more like working through problem sets, maybe, because uh, I find that a lot more engaging than just you know sitting down and reading a textbook. Hmm. Any seniors? Hmm. Where are you going to school? Um, I'm, I'll be attending UC Berkeley in the fall. Yay, awesome. go Bears! <laughs> uh, I'll be attending Vanderbilt in nice. the fall. Wonderful. Uh, I'll be going to UC Berkeley as well, yeah. and um, also uh, Jack here is not a senior, but uh, he will be going to MIT as um, wow. Yeah, as as a how old are you? I'm 16. 16 and going to MIT. Not bad. Did you guys always want to go to Mariloma because you knew about this program when you were in junior high? And yeah, definitely. Anyone go to Arcade here? No one. All right. <laughs> well, All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. And a thousand dollars. Right. All right. <laughs> Good luck. You're going to try and make it a four peat next year. <laughs> uh, sure, certainly. <laughs>